What's up everybody and welcome back to another video on the AJ3 Plays channel. Today I'm going to be running you through the team that I'm going to be using this weekend for the very first Foot Champs of the year. Videos and would like to see me do Foot Champs with different teams throughout the year, let me know down in the comment section and I can maybe show you the guys the team before, maybe put some highlights in of playing the Foot Champs and you guys can see how I got on with the team. This is the team that I think is probably the best team on the game to be perfectly honest with you without going mental on like icons and stuff like that. It's all normal cards but it is as far as I can see about as good as you can possibly make a squad, which is a bit mental. And I'm sure there's going to be some people watching this video who are going to be jealous and call me pay to win and stuff like that. Joe, you know yeah, it is pay to win. I can't even argue with it. But we make FIFA videos. We do content creation. We open a lot of packs. We get loads of coins for squad with a showdown and stuff like that. And I decided to go out and build an absolute god squad to play the first week of foot champs. We've been playing with it and practicing with it in Div Rivals. Not that it particularly needs much practice because it's absolutely unreal. But yeah, like I said, the first week of foot champs is this week. I have qualified for it. We've got our qualification in and we're going to see how we can get on. And I thought beforehand I would run you guys through the team that I am going to be using just for some interest because I suppose when we were doing Road to Glory videos, that's the type of stuff that we would be doing. And we can like, we can upgrade the team, I guess. We can do different teams, I suppose. I could build like a Premier League God Squad. We can do like a hybrid God Squad. We can build like 500k, Foot Champs team, all that sort of stuff. For the first time, I'm going to run you through my absolutely insane Foot Champs squad. So, there was a few key players that I wanted to get into this team and I'll try and explain my thought process behind each one of them and the narrative and stuff like that as we go through. The first one at the back was Virgil van Dijk who has just run out of contracts because we've just finished playing seven games. He hasn't managed to bag a goal yet from corners which I'm very disappointed in Virgil because his stats are absolutely ludicrous with a anchor on him. He has basically, I mean, he doesn't have any chemistry currently because there's nobody else in the team, so it says minus 14. But what obviously anchor boosts pace, defending, and physical. He has max strength, max jumping, max defending stats, and 80 odd pace. It's absolutely bloody ridiculous. He is six for four. He's just unreal. He is just absolutely unreal, and he is the best defender on this game by an absolute mile, and that is why he costs half a bit. Or at least he did when I bought him. He might have gone up in price a bit since they announced foot jumps. Let me have a look. He costs half a million coins. Okay, so he's gone up a bit in price. I can see people bidding on for 540, but not too much. He's like 550,000 coins. So he's unbelievable and is by far the best defender on this game. It's probably between him, Ramos and Varane. I have used all three of them. And to me, the best two of them are Virgil van Dijk. He is number one. And number two is Varane, not Ramos. I've got Ramos there. Ramos is 160k. And I got Varane, who I actually packed, who's played a lot of games for me, and he's incredibly good. He is, in my opinion, the second best exclude Nikons centre-back on this game. I think there is a couple of them that are higher rated than him, but he's just, he's got the, okay, there's Koulibaly, who's very, very good as well. He looks very, very good, sorry, he's 80th, I haven't tried them out. Laporte, I've used quite a lot. He's got ridiculously good defending stats in terms of, like, defensive awareness and stuff, but he just can't compete with the fact that Varane's got 82 pace. It's basically as simple as that. He's next level ridiculous, 89 defensive awareness, 86 strength, 82 pace, 6 for 3, high defensive work rate. I mean, he's just so, 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 so good. And like I said, I packed him, which was very, very jammy. So he went straight into my team. And it was also incredibly jammy that I managed to pack the man who goes next to him. Fail and Mendy for the perfect link. Yeah, I've also, I've used this guy actually in a video before. Theo Hernandez, unbelievable. What a player he is. Six foot, 81 stamina, 81 strength. He's just next level good as well. But because of the perfect link, we actually use 83 Fairland Mendy. We've got an anchor on him as well. He's rapid. He's got stamina. He's got five star weak foot and four star skills, which is sick. I really like the high, high work rate as well. He's not a high medium one where he's always trying to get forward. And like I said, he perfect links to Varane, which is absolutely insane. That is arguably, is there a better one? Is there, I'm not sure. Is there a better perfect link on this game? than Mendy and Varane. Maybe Van Dijk and Wijnaldum. That's a pretty good one. That's about, that's about as good as I can think. Anyway, in order to get start getting these guys into chemistry, I'm going to move it to the formation that we actually play, which is bog standard, or rather the formation that we start in. We don't play it. We play 4-2-3-1, the second variation, once we get into game. But to get chemistry is bog standard 4-3-3. And going in goal is Allison. Now, Allison isn't the best. 
He's one of the highest rated keepers on the game. But there's just something about him, and I don't know what it is, that he just seems a little bit erratic. He doesn't seem as good as Loris, and he doesn't seem as good as Courtois. Who Courtois would... Loris links the both of them together, and Courtois gets a strong link to Varane instead of a strong link to Van Dijk. But unfortunately for this chemistry, I do need a strong link to Van Dijk. And the only other ones that I could get would be to play Trent Alexander-Arnold at right back. You'll see why when I build the rest of this squad. But the person we actually play at right back is I think someone who's way better than Trent in this game. And that is Nelson Semedo. He's got 92 pace. And he's got, very importantly, medium high work rates. Now, the meta in this game is to play through balls down the line. Try and score a cross or a cutback. Because of the medium high work rates, he is always there. He's absolutely rapid and he's always ready to cut out a through ball. 92 stamina is really good with that 92 pace. And he's a very, very good player as well. So I really recommend him. You could get Trent. He doesn't quite have the pace, but he might. I haven't tested him out. He might make up for it with... Well, I haven't tested him out. I've tried him. I preferred Semedo on the one-off game, but I... I haven't tested them out as extensively as I've tested out Semedo, but I can tell you that Semedo is absolutely insane. Unconvinced by Trent when I used them for that one or two games. So, yeah, that's why we've got Semedo. And that is why we need Allison in goal to get a strong link to Van Dijk because of obviously the dead link to Varane. Which also, both of them need an extra link, which very luckily for us is easily done by our CDM of this team, or one of the CDMs of this team, Ingolo Kante. Yeah, we're going there. Next level team is what we are building. So, so far, we've spent half a million coins on Van Dyke. Mendy's about 100k. I think Varane's about 250. But like I said, I packed him, so I'm not 100% sure. He might have gone up in price. Is he up to like 300k now? Seems like he is. Okay, so he's, this team is ridiculously expensive. The whole thing costs about four and a half mil, which is mental. I do appreciate that. But I thought it'd be fun to show you guys this team. So that gets Van Dyke, Allison, Varane's on full chem because of the perfect link to Mendy. Kante is getting onto chemistry and we'll sort him out, but we're going to put in his parent, his partner in crime in midfield. Ones to watch Alan, who you don't need the ones to watch because he's exactly the same. If I go back, he's absolutely identical to his normal card. I just bought the ones to watch one for, well, for two reasons, to be honest with you. Just because it looks cool. And because at that point, I hadn't packed this untradeable ones, this untradeable Alan, I don't think. Or at least I didn't remember that I had. So I thought I needed an Alan. The, the normal one costs about 100k because he's out of packs. He will come down in price once he goes back into packs. Whereas this one cost me 160. So I thought, you know what? For the jazzy colours, for the ones to watch card, he's an Everton player. I'll get the ones to watch Alan. So that's why I've got him at centre mid once I pop him back in. And honestly, you guys are going to call me biased because I am an Everton fan. And say I'm just saying it because Alan is an Everton player. He's genuinely the best CDM that I've used on this game. He's better than Kante. I'm not even... You guys are probably going to laugh at me and think I'm winding you up. But I'm being deadly serious. Medium high work rates. 92 stamina. I've got an engine on him for a bit of extra pace, a bit of extra passing, and a bit of extra agility and balance. He's absolutely unbelievable. To be honest, he's basically the same player as Kante. 96 stamina. Decent pace. Decent passing. Good agility and balance. They're almost identical. They've got the same work rates. I don't know why Alan feels a bit smoother. He just does. He's got four-star skills. I'm just team Alan. I'm just team Alan. Maybe it's just confirmation bias, to be honest with you, from myself. Because when Alan does something sick, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's Alan. Well done, mate. Whereas Kante does the exact same thing, and I don't quite notice it. But honestly, Kante is 376,000 coins I bought. I'm probably off 400k now. Alan's normal card is probably going to be about 75-ish once he comes back into packs. He's about 100 at the moment. I think he was about 60 before he went out of packs. Get normal Alan and save the other 300k to spend on something else because he's absolutely unbelievable. I couldn't recommend him enough. Right, there's two absolutely huge players that are going to go into this team. But first, we're going to put in the rest of them. At right wing, we are going for Mohamed Salah. There's many options. We could even have in for Mohamed Rodriguez. There is Traore, who was in my sweaty Prem squad, who I would very much recommend, and you could stick him in. I decided to splash the coins and pick up Salah for 400k. He plays right mid, but he does a very good job of it. Seven games, one goal, four assists. Isn't unbelievable, but he's a very, very good player with absolutely ridiculous stats. He's 90 rated. I even put a catalyst on him to give him max pace just for sprinting down the line. But yeah, he's good. There's a whole host of players that he can use. And to be honest with you, these positions aren't super, super important. You could get away with Adama, who I've used for 14 games. Eight goals, eight assists. He's very, very good. It's up to you guys, really. I don't know why I'm saying it's up to you guys if I'm making this video for you guys to copy it. I don't think anyone who's got four and a half million coins is coming on a YouTube video to copy a team. But you never know. I think you guys are just curious as to who I've got. Salah's very good. Do I think he's worth 400,000 coins if he's the only player you're buying? 
Probably not. But I do play him right mid, so maybe I'm judging him a little bit unfairly without giving him a fair chance to play properly up front. He's not the main player in the team, basically, is what I'm getting at. Neither is this guy that we've got playing at striker. I've had a few different options here, and I've currently got somebody playing on 7 chem. And it's in form St. Maximan to get a strong link to Kante. I initially had Martial, and he does get full chemistry. And I just didn't really like him. So we've gone for St. Maximan instead. He's on six chem, actually, because he needs to get a loyalty point. Once we have the manager in, he'll be on six. I had Martial. He was okay. He was like 200k. I decided to sell him a buy in form St. Maximan for 255, mostly just because he got five star skills. Again, it's like Salah. He plays Maximan plays left mid, St. Maximan, and Salah plays right mid. They're there. They're good. They're sweaty. They sprint down the line. They do a job. They cut the ball back. Somebody else creates a chance and scores. They're not the most integral parts of this team. But to be honest, they probably do better jobs if they were made more integral parts of the team. But the fact that I've paid 650 Okay, for a left mid and a right mid to just run up and down the line is a bit mental. I'm going to be honest with you. But I do really enjoy St. Maxman's five star skills, and Salah is just a really, really good card on this game. But the true stars of this show are at center attacking mid. I'll show you guys my custom tactics in a second. Neymar. And I think you, can, you guys can guess where this is going. At striker is none other than the cover star of this game. He is chilling right there. It is, of course, Killian Mbappe. The goal scoring record on these two is an absolute joke. Neymar, seven games, nine goals, 11 assists. A million coins he cost me, five star, five star. Absolutely unbelievable stats. And an Mbappe, again, seven games, 17 goals and three assists. All of them games are in division rivals and all of them were played on my stream as well. So it's not, oh, playing on that, no. He's absolutely incredible, next level the best player on this game by an absolute mile. It's like cheating. That's the best thing I can say. Having Mbappe on this game is like cheating. So that is that is my foot champs team. I have the blank squad builder, obviously, to put a bit of a narrative to it. If I go to my actual foot champs team here, I can show you how it plays in game. These are my super subs. I managed to pack myself a untradeable Kevin De Bruyne, which is very, very jammy. We've got Sané and Rashford and stuff on the bench. I, don't, I haven't really brought anyone on because I haven't needed to. We've won every game by such a massive margin because I'm in Div 3. I'm working my way towards Div 2. And most of the people that I'm playing against, I'm better at FIFA. And basically every single... To be honest with you, we've played against a few Neymars as well ourselves. But they haven't had Neymar and Mbappe. So we have out-teamed basically everyone as well. So we are on an absolutely massive win streak. And I haven't really needed to sub on any of my subs. But these are the guys chilling down there just in case. My custom tactics... The one that I use is starting off is... It's ultra-defensive. It's not actually ultra-defensive. It's balanced-balanced. And I've got my... Fullback set to stay back because of the attack and meta where you play down the line. So Mendy and Semedo stay back. Alan stays back and covers the wing as well. And I have Kante on cover wing too. Again, because of that attack and meta where you play it down the line. It's the opposite of FIFA 20. So I have them on cover wing to try and intercept the passes going through to the wing. Salah's unbalanced. St. Maximan's unbalanced. Killing Mbappe's unbalanced. And then Neymar is on stay forward because we had a few games with him where he wasn't really getting involved. And then when we put him on stay forward, he's a lot, lot more active. We then have the defensive one is exactly the same thing but a bit more attacking so you've got pressure on heavy touch and then we don't have Kante or the fullback set to get back which is a bit risky but when we need a goal it hasn't actually come to that yet but if we ever get to the point where we need a goal we'll be able to go onto this and have people get forward a little bit more and then just in case we also have this one which is like next level attacking fast build up press position after loss crazy depth Mbappe and Salah at striker Neymar at cam and then we're just throwing St. Maximan at centre mid just to make the team fit so that is my foot champs team for FIFA 21. And I guess what we could do to round off this video is I will put all of these contracts onto people that are needed to play a game. And then we'll jump in to some div rivals and I'll show you guys what these guys are all about. Okay, we've come up. See, I told you we played in some pretty good squads. Like this guy also has Salah Martial, who we had. He's also got Allen. He's got Pogba. He's got Rashford. He's got a very sweaty Premier League defense. He's got our same goal. Inside. We do slightly out team everybody though. There's a couple of people who've come close when we've been using this team and they've had like Neymars and stuff like that themselves. There was a guy who had Neymar and then also subbed on his loan Mbappe. That was pretty mental. But we basically do have excluding going for icons and getting like Maldini at centre-back and bringing in Eto and Puskas and all them new icons and trying them out and Maradonas and Pele's. And you guys know what I'm talking about. Normal cards. This is basically the best team you can get in the game. So 
where you basically out-team everyone. And I'm going to stop talking so much, concentrate on this game a little bit, and hopefully get ever closer to Div 2 with another dominating win. However, no, it's fine. we got big Virgil van Dijk. Let's do it. Go on, Salah. Go on, Salah. That left foot. Open the body. There we go. There's 1-0. Easy clap. You'll love to see it. As I'm a Troy, I probably wouldn't have scored that, to be honest with you. So that is why you put 400k into <laughs> your right mid. But it is a little bit excessive. I wish you could disable other people's club nicknames. It's really annoying. Like, we were playing against the guy before, weren't we? It was like a promising move from Royals. Like, I literally don't care, mate. Go on, Salah. Maybe he's... Maybe he's heard. Maybe he's heard me slating him. <laughs> he's got more goals in this... In the first 15 minutes of this game than he scored ever for me. Maybe he's heard me dissing him and saying we don't actually need him. He could have a dammer. And he's like, do you know what, Andy? I'm going to score two goals in the first 15 minutes. But I respect it. <gasps> oh, Mbappe is so good. That was so close. That was a nice little bit of football as well. I think he's going to rage quit. I think he's going to rage quit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't think I need to sit here and play crap loads of FIFA to you, for you guys to realise how ridiculously good this team is. That guy has a couple of half-decent attacks, but my defence is just too good. You just can't get through them. And when we go forward, literally everyone on my team is absolutely unbelievable. So, fingers crossed we do quite well in foot champs. Fingers crossed. Although it is me, so I'll probably get stressed out on stream. Get annoyed. That is a video for next week where I'll show you guys how I got on at my Foot Champs Rewards and stuff like that. For now, we're going to leave that one there. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing this absolute ridiculousness. Let me know if there's anything you guys can think of to upgrade this team. I actually forgot to do comment of the day, which makes me a terrible YouTuber. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys soon.